everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me Wayne here and today we're back in the city of Las Vegas about to go on another food adventure and the place we're going today is a place called Ha Burritos which is a, a sushi place or a sushi burrito place I don't know, they serve sushi burritos and also poke bowls or sushi bowls which sounds really interesting and what I like about them is that they're apparently super duper cheap so if you're looking for a place to not break the bank and just have some decent food that tastes good without spending a lot of money this is one place you definitely gotta go visit so with that being said I'm getting hungry, so let's go get some sushi or burrito or let's just go. <laughs> well, let's go get some food. Alright, as you can see, here's the menu right here. Burrito or bowl. I think we're gonna get a burrito and a poke bowl. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. Alright guys, so after coming to Hot Burritos, I have to say the inside place is actually really nice. It's pretty spacious, big, very vibrant, very bright. Staff is super friendly. And when you come in here, you basically tell them what you want to order on the menu. They make it either in a burrito or a bowl. I got the Malibu burrito, mainly because it sounds absolutely interesting. And it's supposed to be a big burrito too. I want to get something else as well, but being how I saw how big the burritos were, I think one is going to be enough for this time. So with that being said, I'm going to place the order and be right back. Well, as you can see here, this is where they make their burritos or bowls, all which is absolutely incredible. There's a burrito with a thing, and there's the bowls over there. Looking absolutely delicious. All these beautiful ingredients inside. Oh, man. I can't wait to try them out. They look absolutely beautiful. Woo! So with that being said, I decided to take my item to go mainly because there's not enough room in the restaurant for people to sit at. There's a lot more people coming in. I didn't want to hold them up. So I'm going to take the item back to the hotel to enjoy. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It should be like a five minute walk. So see you there. So we just made it back to the hotel from Hot Burritos. I have to say, oh man. The food smells so good, I was dying to eat it the entire journey here. But as we made it back in record time, just to be able to try it, so let me take it out and show it to y'all. Oh man, this bag is pretty heavy. And, oof. Oh man, this has some weight to it. As you can see, this is a pretty heavy burrito, wow. Total price was like $20, plus tax was like $22. But absolutely worth it. I mean, you have to see this burrito, believe it. I don't know if the camera can do it justice, but this is a big burrito. I mean, look at it. This is almost the same length as my forearm. And it's super thick, it's probably thicker than my arm too. This is a big burrito, oh man. I can't wait to try that out. So with that being said, let's open up and show you all the inside. Oh. It looks absolutely delicious. So they already cut it in half, as you can see. This is what it looks like, and it looks so, so good. Oh man, there's so many delicious ingredients inside. Oh, what's in here? I don't even remember. Let me, let me look at the menu real fast. Hold on, I got my phone right over here. So in here is shrimp tempura, surumi crab, ahi tuna, salmon, yellowtail, and the sauce is spicy mayo and poke, and they also added avocado, cucumber, wonton strips, and masago. Oh, that just sounds so amazing. There is so many variety of fish. I mean, just look at it. There is so many different fish in here. Oh, this is seafood heaven. So with that being said, I'm, I'm hungry. So let's just go ahead and dig in because I can't wait any longer. Let me peel this back a little bit. Oh no, it started to stick to the burrito skin. Oh no, don't do that. It's only been like three, four, five minutes. We live right next to hot burritos. Oh, come on. All right, we peeled it back at all. Oh. This is looking mighty delicious. As you can see, the masago, which is my favorite. Oh, oh man, let's just go ahead and dig in. I don't even know how to tackle this. I hope, hope, hopefully it doesn't spill. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh, I have to say, they were super generous with the seafood. Like, I thought they, were, they just put a few seafood in the middle just for looks and everything else was just filler ingredients, but no. I took one gigantic bite as you can see and there's so much more seafood in here. This is seafood overload. Like, I got a whole bunch of salmon, a whole bunch of tuna, yellowtail, the surrounding crab and everything. It just tastes so, so good. And best of all is that you can tell the fish is super fresh, super fresh. It doesn't have a fishy smell or a fishy taste. It just tastes very clean and nice. 
And also, because there's so many different fish, like salmon, tuna, yellowtail, it's hard to tell which one I'm eating because it all combines for a really nice taste. So I don't really know, but it just tastes good. And I didn't get to the masago part yet. Let me, let me try this side because I really want to see how the masago tastes. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. So the masago, it's like little popping bubbles, literally. Like every time you take a bite with the masago, you get like little pops here and there, and it just absolute burst of seafood explosion. Oh man. The only thing I wish they did differently was put the masago everywhere, like all around the burrito. That would be an insane bite. But they only put it on one side, which I can understand, you know, it's expensive seafood, so there is that. But still, absolutely delicious. Now, they said there's avocado and wonton strips and um, cucumber and more in here, but I don't see, I see the cucumber. I don't see the avocado or the wonton strips, huh? Let me get another bite though. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Wait, is there wonton strips in here? Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be wonton strips and avocado, but. Oh, I see the avocado. I see it's layered deep inside. Okay, I see the avocado now. And there's apparently also spicy mayo and poke. What is, isn't poke just fish? I, I don't really know, but there is spicy mayo, but in all honesty, I don't taste the spicy mayo whatsoever. It's not spicy at all. Like not even an ounce of spiciness, but still, even without being spicy, it still tastes really, really good. Although I can imagine if there was a bit of spice in here, it definitely would elevate it to another level. Don't get me wrong though, this is still good even without the spiciness. It's just, it could be, it could use a little bit more spice. You know what I mean? But still, very good, especially the fish, the tuna, the salmon, the yellowtail and more. All super fresh and extra delicious. I'm gonna take a look at it. Let me, let me see if I can take one out. Like look at this chunk of salmon. Like look at how big this piece is. Oh man, this is a huge piece of salmon and there's tons of it. This, there's layers and layers of salmon, tuna, yellowtail and so much more. Oh man, and for $20, this is an amazing deal. Like I know every time, if whenever you go to the Las Vegas Strip just for a vacation or whatever, I know the food can be expensive. Like. Depending on where you go, a lot of times one meal can cost the person around 40, 50, 60 dollars. But you know, if you want something cheap and affordable, hot burritos might just be it for you. I mean, for around 20 dollars, you could either get a burrito or a bowl. And I got the burrito, I definitely trust me, go with a burrito. But you will get a huge amount of food. Like, did y'all see the size of it? It was literally the length of my forearm. That was how big the burrito was. For only $20, that is an absolute amazing steal. Plus, it's also very healthy too. As you know, you got all kinds of seafood, vegetables, avocados, and more. This is a very healthy dish. Instead of going to like, you know, places like In-N-Out or Five Guys, stuff like that, getting those fast foods, try something different. You know, spend $20, get yourself uh, this hot burrito. You will absolutely enjoy it. This is phenomenal. Oh man, I still got more. This is very, very good. Overall, I have to say, I have no complaints about Hot Burritos. They are a very good branch or store. Or do they even have more stores? I, I don't know, but they're a very good store. Mmm. Or oh, even that cucumber is good. It's so refreshing, too. It has a nice, cooling, refreshing taste. Oh, man. Mmm. Very, very good. Oh, man. That was a lot of food. Did y'all see the size of that burrito? That burrito was super big. That was almost the same length as my fork. That was a huge burrito, but I am absolutely stuffed. Oh, man. I thought I was going to have to eat a lot more, order a lot more. I thought I was going to go in there, get a burrito, get a bowl, too, as well, and maybe something else. But just one burrito did the job. One burrito is perfectly enough to fill the belly of one person. I am a big person, so you know. That did a lot of justice. And plus for the price point, very, very cheap for what you get. You're getting so much food and ingredients in that burrito. Oh man, definitely worth it. So all I have to say is, you know, if you guys are ever in the Vegas area and want to find a cheap location that tastes good, delicious, and doesn't break the bank, definitely go to Hot Burritos. That is one place you will absolutely love. But with that being said, that's basically the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun filming this. And you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, share this video with all your friends and family. And also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because, you know, I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. And that's basically it. I'll see you later.